I know some of you, and let me just dig in a little bit so you understand that admitting is not the same as confession. How many of you know you can admit something and not really repent or confess it? Just because you've admitted that you're angry doesn't mean you've dealt with your anger. Just because you've admitted unforgiveness doesn't mean that you're willing to deal with unforgiveness. You have to start there, but you have to go down that road. So you admit, you confess, you repent, and then you seek restoration. There's a powerful process in there. By the way, it is God who, he cleanses us from our sin, and we confess to other people not to receive cleansing from our sin, but we confess to other people to receive healing of our souls. When I confess to another person, it brings about healing, not cleansing. Some of you have walked in this place, and because you come from a certain tradition, you you were aghast that we had no confessional here. And you're saying, where's the box? Because I came loaded. We have no confessional here. I'm not I really have no desire to line up and hear all your sins. Some of you take a long time. I don't, I don't, we don't do that. Why don't we do that? Because I don't believe that it's a priest or a pastor or a rabbi that is the one that has the power and intentionality to forgive you of your sins. There is one mediator between man and God, and that is Jesus Christ, the Son who died, who rose again, who paid the price, and He has the power to forgive you of your sins completely and absolutely. It's Jesus the Christ. 